Okay, hello. Welcome back to part two of uh, Airsoft Lights and Lasers. We've got, we've got a couple more weapon mounted illumination devices to look at. Uh, this time we've got the Element again, PEC 16 this time, and uh, we've got a sort of fairly generic Chinese made flashlight. There's a lot of these around, they come in all sorts of names. Ultra Fire, Spider Fire, Shore Light, etc., etc., etc. They're all pretty much a similar thing. This one was so cheap I can't get to remember. Um, but it came with a 20 millimeter wrist mount, and the overall build quality of it is pretty good. So anyone out there just starting out, you're thinking, I'm going to play some night games. I need a top option. I need it cheap. Get yourself on eBay, search around, googling, pick yourself one of these up. Comes with a. Uh, it does come with a tape pressure switch, but the wire was a little bit long, so I've just gone for the push button on this one. And uh, yeah, you can't go too far wrong with one of these. Uh, but for now, we we'll start off with the PEC-16. Again, weapon we're using here, stripped off the optics, just kept keeping it basic, just so you can see you know, if you had this mounted on your rifle at a night game, how it's going to look, how the ergonomics, how it's all going to work for you. Got the tape switch here for the PEC-16, so I'll be using that. And I'm uh, going to start off with the pack, and we can start with the flashlight mode. So let's take a look down range. Okay, now let's turn her on. Now, as you can see, straight away, pretty powerful beam of light in the center there, and a large flood coming off of it. Now, compared to the element again, the M3X, you're getting a wider central cone there, the overall power is higher, I have to say, you're probably getting a few more lumens out of this thing. The, the cone's wide, the, the flood around the, the central cone, quite wide, easily lighting that house up over there, we have a look up. And getting up, lighting those branches all the way up there, that's quite a range for a uh, Very simple Chinese bit of kit. Again, not exactly expensive. A couple of CR123As in here, and you've got a lot of light at the, uh, the press of your thumb. So yeah, good, very good weapon light. You're going to be, you're going to be lighting up whole sides of buildings from 50 meters, no problem. Uh, are you going to get real steel lights that are a lot more powerful? You are, but for anywhere near this price, no. So, quite, quite happy there, the element X15 flashlight. We'll switch that over, round a notch. We'll switch it over to the laser. Let's look how this does. Now, I'm not sure how much of the actual beam you saw in the last video. If you couldn't see it, I, I could with my eyes, but obviously it is night and we're not running some super expensive night specific camera so if you weren't seeing the, the actual beam itself if you were only seeing the dot on the vfc's pec 15 laser you're probably not going to be seeing the beam itself here the actual beam is very very faint even in the dark with the mist to highlight the beam but you do still have a good dot there 20 meters away uh, and to be honest the main thing you're going to want is that dot you don't necessarily want that beam getting traced back to you and you're you know, highlighting where you are to the opposite opposition to. So you know, good little uh, good little feature there. No no issues at all seeing where the dot is at this distance. Absolutely no problem. Consistent works. Easy to follow. The beam's just about visible to the naked eye, but you you are having a when you're not looking down the bore of the weapon itself, you are having a little bit of a struggle to see it. Although it is a lot clearer when you bring your eye down to the rifle. Yeah, certainly not as powerful as the VSE's laser, but useful. Okay, so um, click that past the opposition to the blue 
LED. So let's have a look what this does. That's not very powerful. What use is this going to be? Well, what a lot of people aren't aware of is the fact that white light acting destroys your quiet night vision very quickly. If you've been out in the dark, having your eyes adjust for quite a while, if you're wanting to stay under the radar, keeping it low profile, and you're not using white lights, then if you've got your night vision built up, then white light will absolutely reset you back to zero very, very quickly. However, red light, just standard torch with a red filter on it, is while you get a lot less visible light out of it, you'll get very little diminishing effect to your actual night vision. And secondary to red, if you're using green or blue filters on your torch, you will get slightly more diminishing to the night vision you eyes acquired, but you'll get more light out of the torch itself. And this is a torch with the same amount of lumens in the bulb. So if we look down range, what you'll see is that out at 20 meters, you're not getting much light at all, and you can't pick up much detail of what's out there. But when you're shining it close, within five to 10 meters or so, you know, I can see that chair there, I can see that washing there see those surfboards, you know, I can see that step. I'm not going to be tripping over, breaking my neck. And it's giving you a little bit of a flood, a nice and widespread, plenty for a few people to navigate a path. And not going to be easily spotted from a distance. You're going to be keeping yourself low profile, as mentioned. A good, a good uh, stealthy option. Now, Cover the peck and move on to the Uber Chief torch. Simple thing, as I say, press mount. It's modelled after one of the Surefire versions, uh, possibly the 6P, I think. I've mounted my uh, press button here, so it's got constant on. Which sometimes when you're in a game is what you need. You don't want to have to be holding down that tape switch all the time, you just want to light, you go in from the safe zone to your game area, you just want to light to show your way, you're not fussed about being spotted by the opposition or anything like that. So let's have a look down range, see what this $10 or so worth of light does. So, this is quite an interesting one. You can see the, uh, the shadow of the, the barrel there on the left. I'm using a 14.5 uh, inch barrel here just with a standard 7 inch rail system so the light might be fairly far back to the end of the actual muzzle. Uh, but not too much of an interest there. As you can see the, the actual central cone, probably fairly similar to the Element M3X, nice little focus cone in the middle there. And what you've got is a very wide, very very wide flood out to the sides which is uh, you know, lighting a quite a large area, although unlike the elements and the, uh, all the other lights that we've seen so far that all sort of bled off around, around the edges, if you look at the edge of this, you can quite, if you look up in the tree just to the left there, you can quite clearly see the edge of that outer flood. You can see it move, so you've got, you've got control over that. You're not, uh, you're not just throwing light right out there, you've got a specific circle you know exactly where that light's going. Nicely defined, but with the central cone there, when you want to highlight, point out something specific to your teammates, or just light something up. But again, power on it. As I mentioned, this, this is not an expensive torch at all. Very, very cheap. I mean, about as budget as they come. And yet, it's got a good side housing, came with the appropriate mount. The, the LED bulb's gonna last you hours and hours and hours. The batteries, a couple of CR123As in here, they're going to last you plenty of time. So yeah, that's a, a very good starter option for anyone out there looking for a flashlight. Okay, so that's those covered. Uh, that's all the uh, various lighting and laser solutions I have myself. Uh, weapon mounted ones that is, uh, which is 
the main thing most people look for. There's a lot of people looking for. They want to copy that look of you know, using the PEX and the M3Xs, the V3Xs, etc., etc., on their pistols and rifles because it looks good. But they're not necessarily living in America and able to get hold of the real thing, or nor do they want to pay thousands of dollars. You can pick up the Element line of pure lights, the PEX, or the V, uh, the VFC, even PEX 15 at pretty much any Hong Kong uh, soft retailer. All the prices are pretty similar, it's all the same product. Very cost effective. All the flashlights I've looked at, I've been pretty impressed with all of them. So you're going to be getting into some night games. A few options there for you in this video and the last one. Possibly something to check out. Hopefully uh, this has been informative for you. See you next time.